Did someone find their tail? Did you find your tail? Every time I go to vlog her chasing her tail, she stops. What do you see? What do you see? I made Alex and I some dinner. Some cheese gnocchi from Trader Joe's, a uh, little meatless sausage, asparagus, and some salad. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I am so excited. I am headed to the city because I'm going to an event with Urban Decay. I got an email a few days ago asking if I wanted to go to this party, which is tomorrow, and then um, a little casual dinner, which is tonight, and I had to like pinch myself and kind of bring myself to reality and think like, is this real life? So I had to leave Pepper alone for the first time. Alex will be home in like an hour, like less than an hour, like 40 minutes. And I am like dying at the thought of her being home by herself. I hope she's okay. I gave her all of her toys and gave her bones and treats and all of that. But I'm so sad. I like, I never thought that I would be this kind of pet parent, but I'm totally that kind of pet parent. So Yep, I'm driving now, so I'm gonna drive safe and I will vlog once I get into the city. All right, I am in my parking spot in my garage, not my garage, but a garage uh, that I have parked in. I thought that there was gonna be a spot to plug in my car. Unfortunately, there is not. I drove all the way up to the top floor and did not see a thing. So, we're not plugging the bolt in. I am so excited. We are having like a casual dinner at the Signature Room, which is the 95th floor of the Hancock, which if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you know is probably my favorite spot in the city. I love the view. It is absolutely amazing. So I was pumped to be invited and then even more pumped to learn that it was taking place on the 95th floor of the Signature Room, or in the Signature Room. I am thrilled. I'm just on time and I have to stop at the restroom and freshen up a little bit, but it's time to go in. I'm sure they're gonna let me vlog because it's like, you know, a blogger thing. And uh, yeah, let's head on in. Well, Alex is with me today. Last night I was flying solo. We got Pepper in the back here. My mom is going to watch her for us while we are there because I have not all left her alone for very long at the house. Yesterday I had to leave her alone for an hour and was like freaking out my whole way to the city. So today we are bringing her to her grandmother's house and I'm very nervous for her and Minnie to meet, but it will be okay. They'll, they'll go their separate ways and my mom will be Pepper's defender, so uh, that's what we're doing. And Alex looks all sharp in his dress shirt. Sharp. Sharp. You look sharp. And I have just like a black dress on that has some lacy detail and like bat sleeves and it's super comfortable but also like a really pretty dress that I greatly enjoy wearing. And the sun is blasting me in the face right now. All right guys, we are approaching the city. Of course, we're listening to a true crime podcast while we are on our way. Pepper is at my parents' house. Minnie and her, Minnie is like an only child kind of dog. She does not get, well, get along well with other dogs, but they did surprisingly well. So fingers crossed the evening goes smoothly for my parents and they don't have to, you know, cuddle, cuddle Pepper too much, even though I'm sure they will anyways because Pepper's amazing.
almost to my mom's house and my parents' house to pick up Pepper, but guys, I need to record this because I'm on the Urban Decay Instagram story and I'm freaking out right now, so l let's capture this forever. All right, so that's where I was tonight. Heating up Chicago. We were at the Virgin Hotel downtown. And then look at that super cute picture that they got. Naked heat palette. There is me. Oh my God. I, I'm freaking out a bit and I want it to be there forever, but it won't be. But I just captured it, so we've got it. We've got it guys, on camera. I was on the Urban Decay Instagram story. <laughs> Are you excited? You talking to me? I'm talking to you. Yeah. I didn't right. want to distract you from driving, so I, I didn't say your name. <laughs> I'm so pumped right now, but I'm also super pumped to pick up Pepper, because I do miss her. It's been nice. Tonight was so nice. It was kind of like a dream come true, right? It was pretty magical. Pretty nice. Prettiness. And it was like so chill and casual and I was kind of freaking out on the inside but trying to stay chill and casual and all that jazz but it was great and I got to meet some other bloggers who are in Chicago which is really nice because there's not a lot of us here but those of us who are here are pretty awesome I bet. <laughs> and I really hope to see them again because that was a lot of fun. I don't know why more brands don't come to Chicago because we're kind of like smack dab in the middle it's a beautiful freaking city, and I think more brands should. Comment below if you agree. I don't know if any of you are in Chicago. Some of you are probably in all stretches of the world. And Brandon was done in like a minute, because I told him, I said she's gonna eat everything that's on the floor, you better watch. Happy Friday friends, we got Bark Box for Pepper and so I went through and took all the tags off of everything and now I'm gonna close the box and I'm gonna let her open her first Bark Box. I kind of ripped it a little bit, but all right, where should we step? <laughs> She's gonna want her to open the box. Get it. What's in there? Here, we go like this and like this. Now you get in there. Dang, girl. That's a loud bark. Pepper, what's in here? What's in here? Did you get bark box?
Pepper loved her bark box. She was going crazy for a while and I was gonna try to vlog it, but then I couldn't. Uh, she's eating dinner now. Alex and I just ate. Well, she just had an accident. Dog life. Happy Saturday morning. Pepper's chewing on her bark box toys. She loves them. Uh, she is going for her first appointment with us. Obviously, she had shots um, at the rescue center and everything like that, but we're taking her for her first puppy appointment. They have what's called like a puppy plan, so we'll have a few appointments coming up in the next few months. And yeah, she's going to get her little puppy shot today. And I'm not nervous or anything. She's so good around people and like just lets you touch every part of her, like her ears, her paws, everything. She's got no no issues with any of that, so I'm excited. I think Pepper's gonna come down the stairs and I wanna record it. Come on, Pepper. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, there you go. You got it. Good job. Yeah. Yay. Hi. So guys, something super funny we learned at the vets today is that because she has white paws, talking about Pepper, uh, she is uh, more prone to being allergic to certain things or being sensitive to things like medication and stuff like that. And I was just laughing the whole time because as a redhead, I am also super susceptible to having allergic reactions and just being really sensitive to medications, skincare products, makeup, scents, allergies, everything. So uh, when the doctor said that, I was like, oh, she really is my child. <laughs> what are you doing, Pepper? <laughs> oh my God, that kills me. She just sticks her whole head in there. And she likes it. <laughs> She's gonna run into the TV stand though. <laughs> oh, Pepper, we love you. This, she loves these little guys because she can actually make them squeak on her own. <gasps> What's this one? <gasps> you know what would be fun? I put the little guys in the... Oh, you got one! You got it! Good girl! You got it. You win! I brought her bed that's normally in her crate. I brought it in the kitchen so that she can hang out with us while we cook. And we put a bunch of her toys in there and she's like, doesn't know what to choose. She's so excited. Hi, Pepper. You're gonna fall off. <laughs> Do you love it? Are you such a happy puppy? So many people when they um, like see us walking, what's the first thing they say, babe? She's such a happy puppy. That's what they tell us all the time, and I'm like, she seems her normal amount of happy. But she looks so sad in pictures, I don't know why. She's just got a sad, sad look about her, I guess. So many toys. Oh.